For tonight's lesson, we are doing lesson 75, which is changing improper fractions to mixed numbers. Now, this is kind of the first time that we are seeing this, so um, if you don't fully understand it after the video, we will be practicing this a lot in class tomorrow so that we can fully get it. A fraction um, can be less than one, a fraction could be equal to one, or a fraction could be greater than one. But a fraction that is less than one is called a proper fraction. So that's a fraction is basically a, a part of something or a piece of something. So a proper fraction is any fraction that we know that is less than one, not all the way there, not one full whole. Then when we are talking about improper fractions, an improper fraction is a fraction that is equal to or greater than one. So when we look at our fractions down here, I just gave you a couple examples. This is not all the way one full whole. We have three out of our four pieces. So this would be called a proper fraction. I'm just gonna put a, a P there. Four out of four, we have four pieces and we have all four. So this is actually technically equal to one, but that is an improper fraction. Then when we come over here, we have five out of four pieces, which means we have a full whole and then one fourth left over. This is also an improper fraction. All right, so every improper fraction can be changed. Some improper fraction like this can be changed to a whole number or a mixed number. So this would be an improper fraction that was changed to one full whole number. And this, num this fraction could be changed to a whole number with, with a, another fraction. So it would be called a mixed number. This could be changed into, so we have five pieces and we have four out of four makes it one whole. And then we would have one left over making it five. So then we know this as a mixed number, meaning a whole number with a fraction. All right, so the next example, the, or the very first example, separate 8 thirds into fractions equal to 1 plus a proper fraction. Then write it as a mixed number. So we're taking 8 thirds and we want to first make it into fractions that are equal to 1. And we look at our denominator, we have a 3. What is a fraction we know that's equal to 1 with a denominator of 3? So first, I would say, okay, 3 thirds is equal to 1. That's equal to 1. But then I am going all the way up to 8. So I could add another 3 thirds, right? And that's equal to 1 as well. And then I have 6. What number plus 6 equals 8? Two, so I have two left over with all the so same denominator when we're adding and subtracting, always keep the same denominator. And when and this is, is a fraction, so it's not equal to one. So this would be a two thirds. So when I add this together, I have one, two, two as my whole number, and two thirds. So this would be my mixed number. Another way you could do it is you could draw a picture. So let's say I'm drawing three circles and this has three pieces three pieces three pieces and I have eight thirds I'm gonna count one two three four five six seven eight and if you were to look at these pictures and draw your fractions you would say three thirds plus three thirds plus two thirds and that would give you your three thirds is really one whole three thirds one whole two-thirds is my fraction so my mixed number would be two and two-thirds if it helps you to draw a picture maybe do that first until then we can get the um, number part easier okay our next example okay a chef baked two lemon pies at the end of the day three-fifths of one pie and four-fifths of the other pie remained. All together, how many lemon pies were left or were, remained? So what we're doing is we have three-fifths of one pie plus four-fifths of another pie left over. And we want to know all together how much does that equal. Well, we know how to do this. Three-fifths plus four-fifths. We can easily add that, right? The denominator stays the same. We know that. But we have three pieces plus four pieces equals seven pieces. And this is right, and sometimes this is, would be okay for her answer, but it says we, we need to change them into a mixed number. 
So we need to, this is an improper fraction right now, meaning the top number is bigger than the bottom. So we know we have one hole in there. So, I first, I'm going to take one hole out of it. So if I have, what is a denominator of 5, a fraction with a denominator of 5 that is equal to one hole? That would be 5 fifths. And what do I have left over to, to get to 7 fifths? If I have 5 fifths, 5 plus what number gives me 7? It would be 2 fifths. And this, this would be our answer, but what is 5 fifths really? 5 fifths is really 1. One whole. What do we have left over? Two fifths. So two fifths and plus our one whole becomes our mixed number. So we have one and two fifths of a pie left over. So really, when you're doing these problems, you're taking a whole out of it first, seeing how much is left, seeing if maybe you can take another whole out of it, and then seeing with what fraction you have left over. Then you need to turn your um, 5 over 5, your fraction that is actually equal, in, equal to 1, into 1, and that becomes your whole number. Then add on your mixed number. Okay, so we're going to look at this one. And this, again, is something we can totally do. We know how to do this. Our denominators are the same. So first, we're going to add our whole numbers together, our 2 and our 1, which gives us our big 3. Then we're going to add our top numerators together, 2 and 2, for our denominator stays the same. But when we look at this, our, our numerator is bigger than our denominator, which means it's an improper fraction. So we need to change that improper fraction um, into uh, a proper fraction, which might mean our mixed number is going to change, our, our whole number is going to change. So if I just deal with this fraction right now, I'm going to take a whole out of it. So I put a 3 over 3. And I'm using a 3 because my denominator tells me that there are 3 pieces. Now, I took a whole out, 3 out of 3, but what number added to that 3 gives me a 4? It would be a 1 third. So when I change this now, this fraction really becomes 1 and 1 third, which I have to add back to my 3. If I add by 1 to my 3, I get a 4, and my fraction is 1 third. Again, if this is a little confusing for you, which it is a brand new concept, we will be practicing this in class again tomorrow at my station. Okay, here we have improper fractions. You can see any fraction that is greater than 1 or equal to 1 is an improper fraction. So we need to change all of these fractions into um, our mixed numbers. So go ahead, see if you can do it on your own. See if you can do it by yourself. If not, you can do it with me. Alright, 5 thirds. So what I do first is I, I look and I see, okay, my numerator is bigger. So I know that I'm going to take out a whole first, because I can. So I'm going to take out a whole of my, of my 5 thirds, which is a 3 thirds. And then I look to see, okay, how much do I have left over? 3 plus what number is going to give me my 5? And this is my 2 thirds. But really, this is 1, and you add your fraction. So this would be 1 and 2 thirds. Now this one should be easy. I'm going to take a whole out of this fraction. What do I get? Well, it already is a whole. So this would be one. Alright, five halves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, one whole out of it. So if I do, I have two over two. If I were to do it again, I have three left over. I have a three. I'm just going to write a little run right here. Three over, over two left over. Well, I can fit another hole from that. So I'm going to go ahead and take another whole, 2 over 2. So I have 2 plus 2 equals 4, but I still have a fraction left. I have 1 over 2 left. So my 2 over 2 becomes a 1, plus my 2 over 2, which is a 1, plus my 1 half. And if you add these up like we know how to do, 1 plus 1 is 2. I have 2 full holes, plus my fraction, which is 1 half. All right, and this one might be a little bit more challenging. I have 9 over 4. So again, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a whole number out. So I'm going to take a 4 over 4 out. All right, because my denominator is a 4. Then I'm going, I have 5 left because 4 plus 5 equals 9. So I have 5 fourths left. 5 fourths, it looks like that. Which means it's still an improper fraction. So I'm going to take another whole out of it, a 4 over 4. So I add 4 plus 4 equals 8, 
but I'm not quite at 9, so my fraction left over is a 1, because 4 plus 4 is 8, plus my 1 over 4 equals 9. You can always go back and check if you look like, if you have your problem like this, go back and add. 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9 over 4, so I know I have this right. But, my 4 over 4 becomes a full 1, plus my 4 over 4 becomes a full 1, plus my what's left over? I have my fraction. 1 plus 1 is a full 2, and then I have my 1 fourth of my fraction left over. Go ahead, at the bottom here, for your lesson practice, you have some of these problems where you have to take either an improper fraction just like we did up here and change it into a mixed number. Okay, so you have 15 over 4, 3 over 3, 6 over 3, 10 over 3, and 4 over 3. So go ahead, try those by yourself, and we will check them tomorrow.